Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to deploy our model onto Heroku Cloud. Heroku is a, a platform as a service offered by Salesforce. So it's a cloud service and we are going to deploy our machine learning model onto the Heroku app. In our previous video, uh, we have deployed our model onto the local machine and uh, we build the model from the scratch saved it and then uh, deployed it on our local machine so the, all these things have been covered in previous video so in this video we are going to majorly focus on to the cloud deployments so um, if you have not seen my previous video i would request you you can see it uh, you can find link somewhere on the uh, top left or right corner of this video so uh, now let us move before moving on to the uh, cloud part and um, i just want to take you through the few of the things so uh, if i show it again once again to you how the deployment looks like so into the you go to the root folder where you have uh, built your model and saved your pickle file app.py file so and then run the app.py file python app.py file and press and enter and after uh, pressing and enter you would be able to see that you this it will give you an url so on local this is how it looks like so if i go here and this is the local url and this is the social network ad click predictor which basically predicts whether a particular user will buy from social media ad or not based on these three parameters sale is and male or female so let's say if i take this as salary and this as is and male one as uh, male so it will give me true so it is uh, that means this user with this salary is and he is a male so he will buy it now uh moving on to the before moving on to the heroku so this is how heroku uh web platform looks like so you just need to create an account and once you create an account and you will log in then you will land here welcome to the heroku now after uh, before uh, proceeding with this part i just want to take you through few of the important files that are required so number one important file is the requirements.txt requirement.txt is a file where we mention the all of the libraries and versions which are required uh, by our model so here you can see that i have mentioned few of the name and their version just like pandas greater than equal to 0 0.9 that means that we our model needs a uh, pandas library with version greater than 0 0.19 the same way i have uh, assigned i have basically um, mentioned for other libraries as well so this is requirement.txt scalar.pickle you must remember that this is the scalar object that we saved in form of pickle using pickle library um, from our previous uh, video and this is another file which i want to talk uh, proc file proc file is an important file which is required by uh, which is required by heroku so inside this we just give a one command web so this is the command web is the basically where web tells you that uh, it is a web app g unicorn tells g unicorn is basically one of the libraries which is required so g unicorn you can see that uh, so Heroku uh, platform is going to use G Unicorn. So that's why we have mentioned it. And uh, app is the basically first app. This app is the name of the main file which we want Heroku to run first. So if you take a look at this folder, this folder, this folder have many files. So how Heroku will decide that which is the file which I run to first. Uh, so we need to give the name of that file. So this is the app this app is that app uh, so this is the app.py file and the next app there is one more app you can see that this is the name of the uh, your flask object so if you go inside this app.py file you can see that inside flask uh, we have created a flask object and then we created it with the name of app if we have created with the, some another name then we need to mention something else here with for the second app so this is the you can think 
you can think of it as a fixed format uh, so this is the profile the uh, another file which i want to talk and uh, rest is uh, inside templates we have our index.html which is basically uh, nothing great uh, we just have simple plain uh, three input box one button and on the click of this button we call we call one API and that API and gives me some result and we are just uh, using this, we are just printing it. So if I take you through this, so this is my app.py file. So <clears throat> def home for the, for the home URL or the parent URL, it will render the index.html, which is basically this one. And uh, for the slash predict URL, it will it is of post type it will take these parameters and it will do the um, it will do the transformation using the scalar object and scalar object you can see that it is just re loading or reading the scalar.pickle file which i just showed to you if i go here this is my scalar.pickle file and this is my model file so uh, i'm just doing simply the reading these files these objects into these objects and for home, I'm just rendering index.html. And when we get slash predict, what I'm just doing, I'm just going through the form values and I'm converting them into integer and then converting them into an array, numpy array, and doing then the scalar transformation. So the transformation is required because we trained our model like this way. So we should give uh, the actual output, uh, sorry, actual inputs in this, in the transformed form. So that's why we have done this. And then we give it to our model.predict method. Once we get the result, we based on the certain condition, if my prediction is one, I'm just printing true. If my prediction is zero, I'm printing false. If my prediction comes out something else, then I'm saying this not sure. Then uh, what I'm doing, I'm just rendering the index.html with this value prediction. So this prediction goes here. You can see that this prediction goes here. So this is the simple plain backend and this is how it works. Now moving on to the Heroku cloud web page. Once you come here and before coming here, uh, you make sure that you have uh, whatever the four files you have, you just uploaded them into the your GitHub repo. So you, you can see that I have uh, created a GitHub repo, Git Heroku demo with the name Heroku demo. I'm going to drop the link of this complete code exercise and this uh, GitHub link into the description box. So you can find the code from here. So. <clears throat> What you need to do, you need to uh, push the complete Heroku demo code, uh, so basically the parent folder onto your GitHub repo. So I, I have done the same thing, all the same file are present here, which were present on my local. Then after once we have everything on our GitHub repo, we will come here onto the Heroku cloud and you will see that create a new app option. Click on it, create, create a new app. Once you click on it, you need to give the name of your app. So let's say if I'm giving NB classifier. So this is my name based classifier. I can, uh, so let's say uh, it is saying that NB classifier is available. Uh, now let's say, uh, choose the reason and then you can create app. Once you click on create app, you will come to this deploy tab. Here you will see and you will see that there are different deployment methods which can be used to deploy on the this Heroku cloud. One is Heroku Git using Heroku command line interface. Other one is you connect to GitHub. So what we are going to use, we are going to this use this method. We will be connecting directly with this GitHub repo and we will pull the code from here and deploy it into our this Heroku cloud. So I have selected this and here you need to select your uh, name and here you need to select your uh, uh, your repo, repo name. So here a demo. If I search it, you can see that it has found the this, and then you click on connect. Once you click on the connect, you can you will be able to see now it has connected with my GitHub repo. Then you can see that either there are two options: automatic deploys or the another one is manual deploy. Automatic deploys are scheduled deploy. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to use manual deploy. So. 
you can uh, deploy a github branch you can select that branch you want to deploy we have only one branch main branch so that's what we are going to use we will click on the deploy branch once you click on the deploy branch you will see that it will start doing something in processing so when you click on this view build log uh, icon link so then you can find the all the build logs here now it is doing some processing it may take some time depending upon the uh, project that you are uploading and depending upon the libraries uh, or the bandwidth of your network as well or because in some projects there are many files and it requires many libraries to be downloaded so it may take some time or compared to the project which are lighter in nature so we can wait here for a couple of minutes and once it is finished it will tell us whether the deployment has been successful or it got failed so whatever the logs will generated those logs will appear here so meanwhile it is doing this processing we can wait here for few minutes or seconds okay guys you can see that inside this build log now you can see that all the logs have been generated and you can see that build is finished so if you take a close look at this thing as i told you that it will first install all of the libraries so you can see that it has uh, installed all of the libraries which were mentioned into our requirement.txt and once we have uh, installed uh, got all the installed libraries over here and then you can see that at the end it will give a url and it will tell this it is deployed our app is deployed at this url so you click on this or you copy this and after copying this you can open it into your browser tab and let's say we go here and now you can see that it has been deployed and now for a sample purpose if i run some of the thing some any random and if i run it you can see that it is giving me output as well so this is how uh, we can deploy a machine learning model onto the heroku cloud and uh, if you go to the settings part one more thing i want to show it to you you can see that this is the url that is generated by our by default url which was generated by heroku cloud but once you go to the setting section inside your app you can do the all different settings here you can apply the ssl certificates and you can register you, you can add your custom domain or custom url as well you can use here so all of the, these things are available here and you can explore and if you want to delete this app you at the bottom of this you can delete this so that's all for this video guys uh, this is all about deploying a ml model or any of the model onto the heroku cloud um, stay tuned for more such interesting video if you want to uh, learn machine learning from uh, absolute scratch uh, then please check out this uh, playlist i have given the link into the um, description of this video so anything uh, related to the, uh, data science machine learning deep learning you can find from uh, this channel if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you do not like please let us know what should be improved upon so till the next video bye bye take care